Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong. Today I'm going to show you how you actually can create multiple Google Sheets that contains different informations. Put it this way, let's say you want to create timetable, um, mass timetable for many people whereby all, all users all the students should have different timetable, right? And you might have a master compilation data in one sheet, but you want to create a similar format, similar layout for all others. So how are you going to create multiple Google Sheets? Yeah, we can talk about 100, 1000 Google Sheets. How you do that? Let me show you. Let's go. Well, this is about generating Google Sheets from Google Sheet data and it's 100% free. Okay, I'm not going to charge you the script. Okay, the script is I found it online. I try to write certain modifications and so on. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. First of all, okay, use the video descriptions link okay, to access to this template. Okay. The template consists of four columns for you to fill out in any, any Google Sheet that you need and it will auto-generate the link to the Google Sheet okay, as well. So what you're going to do is first you fill up the information here. Of course you can always change quantity to certain things, approval number to other stuff, name, date as well. Okay, It's really up to you how you want to use it. Okay. Now currently there's a four here. Okay, you just fill out the stuff. Assuming I'm going to create three Google Sheet using three different data here. Okay, number two, you go to this guy called config. Okay, then go here. This is the place where you actually configure. How does the script actually going to execute and mask generate all the Google Sheets for you? So if you can see, there are three colors here. So which means there are three three types of information you need to set. Number one, you need a Google Drive folder to store all the sheets. So I did create it, my, um, my folder here, right? Okay, so how you're going to do it is go to your URL bar. Okay, you already inside this folder already and you copy this ID. Okay, clear. So let's do this. Copy the ID, put it back here, just paste it. Number two, you need a template file whereby all the files created will be followed that particular layout. So for that purpose, I already created one template for bug Google Sheet generation, assuming I'm going to do this. Okay, the layout, how is the layout it should be is really up to you, okay? The outcome. So for example, I just need this simple one, okay? I'm going to fulfill these four parts. So what I need to do is I need this ID file. So just go to the Google Sheet that you want to duplicate using different contents. Go to the URL bar and look for the D slash from here before the edit slash edit. So you copy this guy. This guy will be the file ID. So I'm going to create the uh, copy this. Okay. Please make sure you copy the right thing. Eh? Let me show you one more time. It's actually D slash then before slash edit. Okay. So I copy this guy. I'm going to put it here. Done. Then the next thing is from the Google Sheet, probably you might have different sheets. Okay. Assuming now you're getting one. So I'm going to put it sheet one. Who? Now, remember just now our data, we have four columns of data that are in the Google. Then you're going to paste on that, this guy here, right? So to make it simple, the quantity I'm going to put in is B1. Approval number will be B2. Okay. If you can't figure out, it's very simple. This is how you identify. For example, quantity I want to put here. So it will be A1. Approval number I want to put here is B2 can whisper here it's actually b2 yeah and so on it's really up to you how you're going to do it okay let me do it um, 
B2, B3, B4. Okay, when it's done, the last one is for you. You just check whether the generator is success or any problem. Okay, this is just a log file, you can ignore it. Okay, so shall we get started? Okay, once you copy this guy, you shall have this guy um because there's an app script here already in, in the drive file, okay. You can you can ignore it. Okay, you don't need to modify anything. You shall see an extra menu after your help here. Okay. Then this is a guy that asks you um that gives you the feature to create sheets. Okay, so let's create now. It'll be running. So there's an authorization needed. So let's get go through, continue, and it will go through you know this guy okay because i didn't submit this to anywhere okay but don't worry um the app is simply uh, just created apps okay if you know the code you can go into get it then now let's look at here continue okay it will actually request the access to um you know create files for you in google drive as well as to edit your google sheet so you just allow okay when it's done that's it that's it right no actually do it one more time let's do it no, actually no one more time previous is actually asked you to authorize it once you're done you can click this create sheets one more time and it's running when it's running it was actually um you know script is started and then you just wait for a while and you'll see the links is actually coming out voila now you have your script created with the necessary content so let's check it out you see this guy one 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 three okay let's go back to the data this is number one so let's create number two two four 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 there so let's see the third one it should be six nine 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 yen and march 2020 so three sheets have been created okay with different file name and if you look at the google drive let's go back here it's created voila so it's cool right using your google sheet data and you can mass generate a lot of google sheets at once so you don't need to create the same or similar google sheets so many times this is very very helpful when you want to mass generate a lot of google sheets for your own purpose so if you like this video and you found it's very really useful please do me a favor put a like put a like okay like here here subscribe to my channel as well as put a ring so that you get notified whenever i upload such tutorial video as well as go live every wednesday 8 15 pm my name is A Chong. Thank you for watching Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. Signing off and hope to see you again. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.